Hi, my name is Andrea Krause, and I am the summer dairy intern for the Marathon County UW Extension. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how young dairy exhibitors should prepare for the fair. To begin, I am going to go through a list of supplies dairy exhibitors may need before and during the fair. I know the list looks long and extraneous, but every one of these things is necessary. These supplies are listed in order of when you may be using them, such as halter breaking, washing, comfort at the fair, cleanliness at the fair, feeding and watering, fitting, and lastly, showing. The list is as follows. Rope and show halters, soap, blue to white soap, hoses, fairly stiff bristled brush, curry comb, baby wipes, clippers, straw and shavings for bedding, trailer to haul the animals in, registration and health papers, shovel, broom, pitchfork, and wheelbarrow, animal feed, feed pans, buckets for water, show box, fitting supplies, beet pulp for show day, fly spray, white pants, white shirt, black belt, black shoes, and black socks, and lastly, a tag holder. Please don't be scared away by this list. Once you have your things set to go, you will feel relieved that you aren't forgetting anything. Next, we are going to talk about how to select a show animal. When selecting your show animal, keep in mind that the beginning dates for the various classes are March 1st, June 1st, September 1st, and December 1st. Short-aged animals are usually at a disadvantage until maturity. It is most important to select heifers with good conformation. If you are not familiar with determining which animals are of good type, consult with someone who has knowledge in this area. The following tips will help you in selecting an animal to show. The animal needs to be long, stretchy, and of good size for her age and breed. It should have sharp, clean withers, a straight, strong back, a long, level, wide rump, and feet and legs with correct set. The heifer needs to show promise of outstanding udder development and have well-placed teats that hang plumb. It should have a good spring of rib and be deep in the chest and rear flank. Next, I am going to talk about why you should brush your show animal. You want to brush your animal as often as you find necessary. You want to brush her to take off loose hair to make room for new and silky hair to come in. This is also a good way for your animal to get used to you and comfortable with you working around her body. You want to start putting a halter on your show animals at least three to four weeks before the show. Depending on the animal's personality, they may be easy or tough to halter break. Have patience with them. Try to be gentle but firm. It is also crucial to relax. They can sense fear, and if you are afraid, they will be afraid as well. Work with them about once every day for three to four weeks before the show. Always have an adult supervising. Lastly, start to practice leading them with a show halter about one to two weeks before the fair. This is so that they won't be alarmed when you put a show halter on them at the fair. Properly trimmed feet are important. If the toes are long and unshapely, trim them early in the conditioning period. Trim at least two weeks before the first show. Heifers with long toes tend to walk on the back of their heels, detracting from the appearance of their legs. Clipping is one of the most important things you can do to fit your animal. Clipping improves the animal's style and overall appearance. It is recommended for youth exhibitors to try clipping, but also suggested that there is someone who has experience with clipping guiding them. Clipping can take up to an hour or more per animal. If you don't know how to properly clip your show animal, talk to someone with knowledge in this area. Next, we are going to talk about how to wash your show animal. You want to wash your animal about three to four times per week before the fair, or accordingly to how dirty they tend to get. Wash with Orvis or laundry soap. Then make sure to dilute the soap in water. Use a curry comb as a last resort because it tends to pull out their hair. 
You can use blue to white shampoo or cowboy magic to remove stains on the animal's white hair. Using cold water on the top line helps it to grow so that you can have a little more hair to work with when it comes to fitting time. Make sure the head and ears are clean for show day. Baby wipes work well for cleaning inside the ears. Make sure that your animal is spotless on show day. How clean your animal is while in the ring can really affect your placing. Now you're all ready for the fair. Thank you for watching.